Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Let's answer a very common question. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for choosing to be here today. I really do appreciate it. Y'all, today is going to be a very quick helpful tip video because I get asked this question a lot and I want to share with you how I do it. So let's go ahead and flip to that overhead camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so like I said, this is not going to be a very long video. I am simply going to do a very quick demonstration to show you how I figure out a certain thing that I do a lot of on the channel. One of the questions that I get a lot is what is my secret for making an envelope? So we're going to go ahead and just pretend that we are making a five by seven card. So that would make it a piece that is cut at 10 by seven. So I'm cutting a piece of cardstock down to 10 by seven and I'm scoring it on the 10 inch side at five. This is just to basically mimic a five by seven card. So there's my five by seven card. I know that it's seven inches this way and I know that it's five inches when folded. So what I normally do when I'm deciding my envelope sizes that I need, I'll usually add an eighth of an inch to the widest part. So this is seven we know. So let's just go ahead and say it's seven and one eighth. So then I like to add an inch to both sides of this. So I'm saying that this is seven and one eighth because I've added that one eighth. Now I'm going to add an inch this way and an inch this way. And so my seven and one eighth plus two becomes nine and one eighth. So that is how I decide how wide my envelope needs to be starting out. Then I know that it's five this way and I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm going to show you now how we score. So we're going to score at one inch, rotate to the opposite nine and one eighth inch side and score at one. So that's that one inch that I said we would put on both ends of this. Then I'm going to turn it this way and I know that this is five inches here. So my first score is going to be at five inches because I want it to match the size of this. So I know that my next score needs to be at least five inches because it needs to match this. So I'm going to go over five inches to 10, but now I'm going to add one eighth of an inch to make sure that we have the best fit possible. So y'all, that is how I do it. I take my card and I measure it this way and whatever it is this way, go ahead and immediately add one eighth of an inch. So seven became seven and one eighth. Then add an inch over here and an inch over here. And that's how you get this sizing here. Then when you turn it this way, you're going to take the true size of the card. That's your first score. Then you'll double this and then you add one eighth of an inch. That is how I do it every time that I make an envelope because you want that one eighth of an inch here so that when this folds over, you've got that fold over room. So now we're just going to go ahead and we are going to put this envelope together so that I can show you that it works. So I'm going to go to my intersecting point and angle in. Go to that one, angle in. Then I'll angle in here. I'll angle in as I'm cutting in a downward motion here. We'll do the same thing over here. Let's go ahead and remove this. Angle in as we're cutting down here. 
I like to take my scissors and just round This is an optional step. If you have a corner rounder, that's also a great way to use the corner rounder. So then we're going to fold these sides in. I'm going to grab my glue. We'll place a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue right there. This is the widest part that we'll be folding over. So we're going to add our glue right here and right here. So I chose five by seven because five by seven is a pretty common size for cards that we might make or send. So now I can take this card and you can see that it goes in with ease and I can now seal this if I wanted to and mail it and I would seal it using some double stick tape or my trusty reptile adhesive. That is generally the formula that I use when I'm making my envelopes. There are dozens of ways, probably hundreds of ways to make an envelope, but this is the process that I generally follow when I am hand cutting my envelopes. Now, if you're making a large card, you might have to piece some papers together or you might have to use some sheet paper to get the sizing for the envelope that you need. So I hope that this has answered the question of how to make an envelope to fit almost any card size. If you have enjoyed this video, and y'all know that I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.